What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for our coverage of Peace, Death, an indie game that just dropped onto Steam that I think I'm going to be pretty good at. I'm going to be honest with you right now, we're going to have some real talk, some real flat game being spit at you right now. I think I'm going to be pretty good at this game. I think I, I, I think I hold up really, really well when I'm allowed to stand in judgment of others, and this game allows you to decide who goes to heaven and who goes to hell. You are the Reaper, so I think I'm going to be pretty good at this game. Let's get started. He's got a Reaper kitty. His cat is also the Grim Reaper, but does his cat target cats? Oh, he wants some of that bomb-ass carnival ham hock. Dude, that's all that I've ever wanted in life is carnival ham hock. If I could have that every night for dinner, my life would be grand. Oh, but our fridge is empty. No. Also, apparently we have tumbleweeds that are, like, rigged up in, like, a strange little trap when you open up the refrigerator, it, like, releases them. I don't know, just a tumbleweed infestation. We might need to get a broom or merry maids or something. Ah, yes, he's making that fundamental connection that we all make as adults, where we want dope-ass carnival ham hock, but we have no money, and we have no money because we have no job, therefore we must go get a job, thumbs up, so that we can have carnival ham hock and hang out with our dope reaper cat, and also apparently drink a lot more champagne. The reaper is down with champagne from what I can tell. If I was the reaper, I'd be down with champagne too. Apocalypse Incorporated. Welcome to Apocalypse Incorporated, Reaper. I am your superior. Look around and get down to work. Man, we put on a little bit of weight since we got back into this reaping stuff. Then again, we get to sit next to this guy, so that's always going to make us look a little bit better. He's basically the duff of the group. This guy's on fire. That concerns me for a number of reasons. I'm sure it concerns the fire marshal as well. This dude over here, just snazzily dressed. No complaints. So what is this right here? So, week one. Junior Apprentice. Yeah, let's go for it. It's your first day, Reaper, so here's a simple task that won't, you won't screw up. Devils must be sent to the left elevator to hell, and people must be sent to the right one to heaven. Go ahead. I'm totally locked and loaded. Okay, so you go to heaven. You also go to heaven because you don't... I mean, you look like you might be up to something, but that something is probably like, I don't know, selling cleaning supplies or whatever, so I'm not going to trip about it. I don't deserve such clients. Eh, off to hell with you. Downwards. Dude, this guy's a cowboy. I am Doug, and here I am. You don't have an O in your name, Doug? You should probably get an O in your name. Shalom, Goy. Greetings. Shalom. Blood dust. It's the Doom Demon. Down to hell you go. It's too horrible to imagine. What is? You gotta finish your sentences, man. That's a bad habit to get into. We had to run away. I like your nipple piercings, man, although they look heavy. Does that stretch the nipple over time? Like, do you get kind of like a drooping, like, damn, my shirt is messing. Well, you're going that way. No, I'm not a gangster from the 70s. Up they go. Dirty Mickey was the last thing I saw. I suppose I should probably get this moving. Would you like some coffee? I am the Wishmaster. I wore no hard hat. Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. My name is Legion. Nah, that's bullshit. His name's probably Gary or something like that. Yeah, I played this one too. Down you go. My kid's name is Tim. Is that your kid? Because this definitely represents something that I think CPS would want to be aware of. Are pets allowed? In life, if life gives you lemons, you sell them. <laughs> Just call me Nikolovich. The name is... Uh, no, still named Lee. You're also a liar because that other guy's name was Legion. Unless you're all named Legion. Hurt me. My shoes are too tight. <laughs> One donor, please. I don't think that's how you spell donor. Uh, one donor, please. Did I break the wall? Well, maybe the fourth one a little bit. Fuck the children. Oh, we just sent George Carlin to heaven. Did I tell you what will happen tomorrow? Yay, work's done and I have a clear conscience. See, that's why I would be good at this job is because I just wouldn't care. I'd be like, oops, I sent him to the wrong place. Oh, well, I get paid minimum reaper. I get, I get paid minimum reaper wage, which at whatever that is. Is that Reaper money right there, like souls? Or like skulls? Oh, I got a great B. Probably could have done it faster, but I was reading the little dialogues and tooltips and stuff. So is that my cash right there? Is that my cash money, Skrilla? The darkness obscures my eyes. My eyes, got it? Who is this dude? I'm 100% vegan. I adore broccoli with meat without the broccoli. Okay. Bows and arrows, machine guns, there's nothing more reliable than a hammer. Do not cling to something useless, especially if this useless thing is yourself. I was going to say, says the guy with a cat in his lap, but he's got a rat in his lap. I don't know if rats are more utilitarian than cats, but my cats are pretty useless. So I would never make that kind of judgment on somebody else while having a cat in my lap. So your elevator is crashed. It'll be repaired immediately, but only once. 
We can also get great for- We gotta pay for our own repairs while working at somebody else's company? What kind of racket, dude? They need serious labor law reform down here in hell. Great forgiveness. If you make a mistake for the first time, it will be forgiven. Yeah, I'll do that. Are these permanent, or is it just for the next run? wonder if it's just for the next run. So today, other Reapers notice a funny thing, and that's what I say, Reaper. Trying to send his demonic denizens to heaven, Lucifer began to endow people with his demonic power and horns. From this day on, everybody who wears horns should be sent to hell. Go ahead. Okay, let's do this thing. So he definitely goes to hell. Tupac, nah, you go straight up to heaven just because we need your music. I can't, I can't live in an afterlife where... I'm gonna try and do this one as rapidly as possible and see if I can get like an A grade. I have not read a single thing they've said so far, and I kind of feel like I brought. Aw, oh, he jawed. When you want to jaw jaw with your friends, but your Spanish is bad. Jaw 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 Hey, it was, it was Jay. I wonder if Silent Bob's in here too. It seems like almost every single person we're sending to heaven or hell is from like a movie or some kind of reference. See your reflection in my head. Who are you, Moby? Get out of here. Before I change my mind. So a lot of people have horns today. Yay! Did that? Psh. I like how I slap my desk when I'm done. Like I'm happy. Like I just did a spit take at like my roast. So we got 45 skulls. Hell yeah. So I guess we're pretty good at our job, right? Uh, we can get misery. Every client has one less feature. We can go with strict rules. Additional influence for an unchosen horseman in case of failure. I don't even know how those are... Did you discern, do you discern the line between a choice from the one and Fate Reaper? I feel like he's just sitting over here being edgy. This dude just wants to enjoy his chicken. I bet this guy just loves going to like a Monomarth concerts. And this dude's probably doing kind of the same angsty shit that we're doing. So I think we probably have a chance of being friends. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with those little options. Or if they last like the entire time or if it's only for the next run. I'm going to assume it's only for the next run for right now. But let's go. Today people started to use weapons, Reaper. Weapons are those dangerous things they have with them. The way to heaven is closed for them, as famine's mouth is closed for the healthy food. Send everybody who gets to you with firearms or edge weapons straight to hell. Let's begin! I, I just feel the need to point out that I personally use a scythe to do my job, so... At a certain point, do we have like a couple... Do we have a double standard here? This place won't stop me. Dude, you're going to heaven. I don't think it wants to stop you. People are all... Oh, George Carlin has a knife. He's got to go down to hell. Sorry, George Carlin. Off to hell with you. You have horns, Superman, so unfortunately I can't save you. I don't know if that was Ben Affleck or who the shit that was supposed to be, but hell, he's going up to heaven for right now. We'll sort it out a little bit later. He had a battle axe. That guy's got a backpack, and so unless that counts as... You've got a Kalashnikov, dude. You're trying to sneak into heaven with a Kalashnikov. That Viking looked dope. If I could go through my life looking like that Viking does, and just rocking like super badass armor all the time, I think life... Somebody wished for a cure to their headaches. He fixed it. They never said how they wanted a cure to their headaches. They just said, fix my headaches. I wish I didn't have these headaches anymore. He's like, all right. Just hit him in the forehead with an axe. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to warn you. Your headache's going to get way worse for just a second. Just a second, though, then it's going to be over. It's part of the wish. It's part of the magic of what makes it work. <laughs> Sometimes I... Something is happening. Listen to me. I adore fighting. These three are so far from the real meaning of life, Reaper. You don't work for me, but I want to suggest that you touch the world of beauty to work the next day for me. Not for free, of course, except for the payment you will receive. A whole lot of self-esteem and masculinity. Well, you know, I have been low on self-esteem and masculinity. Is this dude wearing Warhammer 40k power armor? He totally is. You can tell from the crotch jointing. Don't judge me, that's how I identify fantasy armors, is by looking straight at the crotch. And you look at the joints of the crotch, and you're like, oh, that's from Halo. Oh, that's from Warhammer 40k. Don't trust me? Try it sometimes. Spend a bunch of time looking at plastic figurines' groins. What do you think of this in truly masculine offer? Yeah, I'll do it. It's great to have you on my side. Reward after work. No, you pay up front, bitch. I don't work out not so fast, Reaper. Reaper, war accomplices sent the envelopes to all heads of states. They contain the latest pestilence invention, a powder virus which inhaled transforms the victim into a kitten. Do you know what will happen if the uncontrolled kitten presidents will press red buttons? A world war, millions of death, and the tremendous amount of work for me and you. I'm sensing a couple typos in here. 
Maybe it, makes, maybe it makes it more endearing, though. We cannot let this happen, Reaper. So I suggest you take part in the purchasing of the wool yarn soaked in catnip to distract kittens. FedEx has already agreed to send them. Wonderful plan, right? Why would I want FedEx kittens? Uh, I don't have 150, so I guess I have to do that one. But that seems to have made them pretty happy, the fact that now I'm trying to douse kittens in catnip, so, you know. That's fine. Level is 30 seconds longer. We don't need help. We're doing pretty well so far. Did you know, Reaper, that the average person has up to 5 liters of blood? Some have it on themselves, by the way. In order not to stain the white and pure heaven, those who are covered in blood should be sent to help. But what if they're like surgeons and they were saving somebody's life while they died and that's the blood of the person they were saving? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have to save the Purell soaked halls of heaven from its ridiculous crimson blunder. Let's begin. Alright, so if they got blood on them, they got- Dude, you doubled up on sins right there. I don't even know what to tell you right now. You gotta go. You're in your underwear, so you can't go to heaven. Everybody knows there's no- Oh, Conan O'Brien with a lightsaber. Definitely going to hell. Down to the bottom here. I swear to God, they put Jimmy, they put Jimmy Fallon in this one. I'll send him to hell so quickly. You won't even see him hit the stage right there. The button will get pushed so fast. I'll be like, goodbye, Jimmy Fallon. Farewell. No more looking at the camera and laughing at your own jokes. Goodbye. Ah, uh, Tupac, yeah, welcome to heaven. Welcome to heaven, buddy. Ah, uh, you got blood all over you. Yeah, you've got horns, so unfortunately... Oh, you've got a guitar and an AK-47. So unfortunately, you will bailar elsewhere. You've got a spiky club, you've got horns. Uh, Tupac's got blood on him, so apparently Tupac's back to hell. Dude, was there a ketchup spill up there before you died? Like, yeah, we all died at a ketchup factory. Oh, I see, it's not even blood, it's ketchup. It's ketchup. I earned 65 devil dollars. Yay, so when do I get to buy chicken? Like, when does chicken become a thing that comes into the equation? Because I seem to recall that was our ultimate quest. Our ultimate quest was to eat the chicken. Uh... Yeah. I'll take a deposit on ten skulls. Let's go. Hats and headgear saved from the cold and the wind, but here hats hinder our right decisions. Everyone who comes here can use hats to hide horns, and horns are a feature of hell. Take off hats from clients to make sure you make the right decision. Your day begins. Oh, good lord. So I gotta click off hats now. Alright. You got blood on you, so that means straight down to hell. You've got a manly mustache, which means you go over there. He had blood on him, so either way he's going to hell. That last guy with the hat. Yep, there's horns. Uh, to heaven with you, to heaven with you. Uh, they've all got horns. They've all got horns, every single one of these little bastards. I long for the days where we had the easy kills, the easy deals. It doesn't even have to, we don't even have to look under the hat for that guy because he's already got blood on him. You go up to heaven, uh, you got that, yep. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Man, all you guys is getting into trouble right now. What are you doing? You guys need to straighten up and stop wearing hats. That's the devil's work. Are we there yet? Oh, we got one more to go, okay. Oh, uh, he's got a weapon though. I didn't even need to look right there. I don't know why I clicked his hat off because he was holding a weapon. It's weird how your brain focuses on certain things and not others. We got a promotion! We are now a senior apprentice. Hell yeah, that job title sounds like it doesn't come with a pay increase. So, with our favor going on right now, what's up guys? My last horse turned out to become a perfect roast. Mmm, horse roast. Everybody loves a good horse roast. In seven days, God created the world. In seven seconds, I will destroy any. Any what, man? You have this weird problem in not finishing your sentences. The day I am closed for everyone, I will inform Tinder. You will reap, I will sow. Our black harvest is one reaper. Good lord, man. You just over here, just reciting goth lyrics over here like, come on, man. Like, I am everything lacuna coil. My goth references might be a little out of date. It's been a while. Uh, are those even, uh, are goth kids even a thing anymore? Are those even exist in the 90s. We had loads of them. That's when I was growing up. In the, in the 90s, we had a lot of goth kids. I'm just saying. Customers are imprisoned in fragile cells. I will get rid of that. Because it sounds like I'm going to have to break the cell or something like that in order to get in and judge them. One of the bloodiest days, Reaper, is today. There's so much blood, even you need to look everywhere, even at the feet. Puddles of blood left by sinners are a clear sign of their bad intentions, so hell is where they belong. Let's begin. Also, get ready for unexpected catastrophes. There's a time limit. You'll figure it out. I will? 
Uh, dude, straight to heaven with you, to heaven with you. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead of the curve right now just by like, you've got a gun, so down to hell with you. You go up to heaven, that looks alright. Yep, you look okay. Oh, there was blood on the floor and I didn't see it. Shit on me. Alright, well you go up to heaven. Oh, there was blood on the floor. Okay, I see it now. It's gonna take me a little bit longer to scan because I can't keep my eyes in one spot as we're going forward. Lunatics hijacked a bus and ripped ripped off a cliff. Alright, just out for a rip, are ya, bud? Just out for our rip. Alright, we'll do that. That dude definitely goes down to hell. That guy goes down to hell. That guy goes down to hell. He goes up to heaven. Uh, that guy, oh, there was blood on the floor and I missed it. There was blood on the floor and I missed it. I am the worst. I was panicking though because there was a number right there ticking down and I didn't want to know what was going to happen if it got to the bottom. That guy's wearing brass knuckles, but he apparently made it up into heaven. You're like, oh, they're called rings, you broke bastard. Alright, so we made 45 bucks. All clients are distributed. We got an A. We made two mistakes, so it's not that bad. So they're the four horsemen. Never mind. What's happened on the next day of work? Additional influence for the chosen horseman. Elevator crash. It'll be repaired immediately, but only once. Okay. Pizza's delivered. Oh, it's you. So how do I select a horseman? That guy just shook his entire... Dude, that's a lot of skulls. Who does our skull supplying? Amazon? What's the shipping rate like on a human skull? I'm gonna Google that after this. Shipping rate on human skull. Clickety clackety. Alright, so... Let's just go for it. We're at the end of our first week here, and we're doing pretty well. Your first weekend, Reaper, though you work on weekends. Today we have a surprise for you. A theme day. Use your accumulated knowledge surrounded by the inhabitants of ancient Egypt and do your job properly. Go ahead. Alright, so he's got blood at his feet. That guy, I can't tell if he's got a hat or what he's got going on. That guy's got devil horns, so off to hell with him. Blood, he looks okay. Uh, he looks okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with him. He's got a weapon, so he's got to go down that way. She's got devil horns, so obviously she's off. Weirdly enough, I'm pretty sure that lady did something for me sexually. I don't know what it is about Egyptian outfits and devil horns, but apparently you found my kink. You found it. That one was real, real niche. I don't know how you dig that one out of the mountain, but hell, this game has managed to do it. I can't focus on the rest of the episode. I need my private time. All right, so you guys are going up to heaven. Dude, ain't nobody committing sins today. You guys are on your best behavior. Have any devil horns into there? All right, devil horns into there, and then we'll take you on up to the surface. Yep, keep them moving. No, my elevator is slowed. That's okay. We'll send them all to hell. Uh, luckily, he didn't have horns under his head. Otherwise, that could have gone wrong. Uh, this dude, there we go, and work is done. We get to go home and watch some Netflix. Orange is the new black. Oh, shit, son. I made detective, and it's only my first week. I've got new clients, basically everybody from Egypt. Uh, this is your pilot speaking. You guys are all passengers to hell, letting you know that we are now servicing Egypt. Now servicing Egypt. Welcome to the flight, everybody. So I work on weekends. Let's discuss details before you leave. Oh, the Reaper wants to talk with you. People announced that the Hunger Games are open, Reaper. These are the games sponsored by Famine, with a bunch of crazy fun going on with the help of war. I don't like this situation, because if successful, these games will be repeated year after year. It can penetrate into the other points of time and space, bring along hordes of victims who we have to work with. So I've got a good plan. Throw a hydrogen bomb on them so that the Hunger Games won't become public knowledge. We need money, Reaper. Edward Teller promised to share his invention. What do you say? So that'll make some people angry with me, but it'll make famine and war happy with me? It's for all our sakes, thank you. I don't feel like I should have to buy my nukes at the company store, though. I decided to om nom nom to devote one day to starving children. Om nom nom, but tomorrow I will spend the whole day in the gym. Would you like to work the next day for me? Remuneration and om nom nom honor are yours. Sure, I'll work the day for you. I will eat three plates of soup instead of two in your honor. Reward after work. Man, ain't nobody paying up front in this bitch. You got some cheap ass bastards, you know that? Your first work week is over and as a prize, we open purgatory. In fact, it was closed for repairs, so it's just kind of a coincidence. Our purgatory is for sinners who have realized their mistakes in life. From now on, if the blood under the feet of your client can be washed away as the sin, send the client to purgatory. Let's go. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Perhaps you've noticed that sometimes you get more skulls. It's your intuition. If you send a client without any manipulations, you'll get an additional skull. Hell yeah, son. Alright, so down to hell with you. Down to hell with you. You go up to heaven. Uh, his blood cannot be washed away. You go up to heaven. Uh, Chuck Norris definitely going to heaven, I think. 
He's quite religious. That guy's got shirt blood, though. That guy's a devil, so either way, he's not getting out of hell, do he? He's got blood all over his boobies, so he's going down there. His man boobies. His movies, as it were. Uh, I, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I could have gotten bonus skulls. I could have gotten bonus skulls. Nope, lunatics of jet. Oh man, they jacked off another bus and ripped it off a cliff. Son of a bitch. Crazy man, you go up to heaven. You get to go up to heaven. You get to everybody's going up to heaven today. How do I send him to purgatory? That guy just said, I pooped. So apparently I just pressed down to send them to purgatory if they have the wash awayable blood. Uh, he goes down that way. That was a mistake, apparently. He had something else going on under his hat. Okay. He's good to go in purgatory. He goes to hell. Uh, do you have that? All right, you go to hell. Uh, check under your hat. All right, straight down to purgatory. You go to heaven. You don't have horns, and your blood won't go away, so work is done. I like this game. This game is fun in like a weird, I don't know, it's fun in kind of a weird detail-oriented Where's Waldo kind of way. Like you find yourself getting into it as you're playing and just being like, ah, click all the things, where's the blood at? And it starts to become like muscle memory in your left hand as you start to do all the little manipulations. Famine and pestilence use mankind's delusions of maintaining a slim body shape in different diets and successfully reduce the population using fat-burning tablets for fitness. Their feature is that they burn all the body fat completely, which leads to death and affects us, Reaper. The amount of our, uh, I mean, your work. Therefore, I propose to send a moon to the planet, or we could simply replace the pills with real less harmful ones. What do you think? I ain't spending no money. I'm broke right now. You can forget about that noise. I ain't feeling it. I just spent my money on a hydrogen bomb to wipe out the Hunger Games. Take that, cat piss never clean. Uh, done. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Peace Death. If you guys like the game so far, leave lots of comments down below. Let me know what you thought about it. This is a fun little title. You can pick it up on Steam. I got it in the description for you down below. So make sure if it seemed like a kind of game that you could sink some time into, that you go ahead and support indie developers out there because that's why I do what I do to get indie games out there from my PC to your eyes and keep some of these guys that are making unique titles in business. All right. I will see you all later. Hi, new everybody.